In this video, I'll show you how to transfer photos from your iPhone to your Mac, and I'll show you two different methods. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like, and let's go and jump straight into this guide. I'll show you two different ways for how you can go and transfer photos from your iPhone to your Mac, and let's get right into this. So the first way is gonna be better if you're just doing like a few photos, and the second way is gonna work better um, if you want to sort of like put all your photos from your iPhone to your Mac. So the first thing we need to do is for this first method is go and open up the finder on your phone. To do that, all you need to do is tap on the little man in the bottom left on your dock like so. Then what we're gonna do is actually go and use AirDrop. AirDrop is a fantastic feature Apple have, and it basically means you can quickly go and transfer um, files between Apple devices. So we're going to take advantage of this. So what you need to do is open up your finder, then go to the left-hand side to favorites and go and tap on AirDrop. If AirDrop isn't appearing here, don't worry. All you need to do is go to the top and go and tap on go like so, and then you can go and tap on AirDrop here and you'll be taken to this page. Then what you need to do is come to the bottom where it says allow me to be discovered by. So tap on this text here and it's gonna go and give you a few different options. I personally recommend selecting everyone because sometimes you may not have con your own contact and things like that. Everyone is just a lot easier. Now that you've done that, you can now go onto your phone and for AirDrop to work, I recommend that you've got your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth both turned on. To do that, all you need to do is open up your system preferences from your dock on your Mac like so, then go to Bluetooth and make sure that's toggled on and do the same for Wi-Fi as well, make sure that's switched on. Then also do that on your iPhone as well. So drag down on your battery to go and open up uh, the control center like this. And what you need to do is make sure Wi-Fi Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are both turned on. They'll look blue when they are, and they'll be clear uh, when they're not. Go and open up the photos, just like so. And what you need to do is go and select the photos or photos or videos which you want to go and transfer to your Mac. So tap on select in the top right of your phone. So I'm just gonna go and select these four here, just like this. Then what you need to do is go and tap on the share button in the bottom left, and this looks like a square with an arrow pointing out of it. Then what you need to do is go and look for AirDrop in this second row of options here. So you may need to go and swipe across, but as you can see, I've got it on the left hand side. So I'll tap on that just like so. And then it says AirDrop a copy, and I can now go and tap uh, on my MacBook just like so, because we've activated it all. And as you can see, it's now sending, and they've now arrived on my Mac. And then to go and find the photos that you just airdropped from your iPhone to your Mac, what you'll need to do is probably go and open up your finder once again, like so, and then go into your downloads because this is where they'll appear. And as you can see, here they are. These are the four photos which I just transferred. You can see at 908. Now, sometimes the first time you do this, you may go and get a pop-up uh, in the top right, and you might be able to go and choose if you want to go and add them to your photos or your files, and that would be the downloads folder like mine is, but that didn't happen for me, but you can usually go and find it in your downloads or your photos. Now let's go and get into the second method, which is going to work better if you're trying to sort of transfer all your photos from your iPhone to your Mac, uh, or just like a lot more than, than, than like AirDrop could handle in a way. To do that, what you need to do is actually go and plug your iPhone into your Mac. So you'll need to go and get the charging cable with the USB end and maybe an adapter if you've got a USB-C Mac. And then go and connect it in just like so. And when you do that, your iPhone should start charging and you're going to go and get a pop-up saying trust this computer and you need to go and tap on trust like so. As you can see, it says your settings and data will be accessible from this computer when connected wirelessly. And then you'll need to go and enter your device password as well. Now that you've done that, data should be being sort of transferred or allowing to be transferred. And what you need to do on your Mac is go and open up the photos. So go and find photos in your dock. If it isn't there, you can always go and use the search tool in the top right of your Mac, this little magnification glass but we're gonna open it from my dock. Then once you open photos, you need to go over to the left hand side into this section called devices, and you should go and see your device. As you can see, mine is called Guide Realm. So I then go and tap on it, and it's going to go and say preparing to import from Guide Realm. So what it's basically doing is finding all the pictures on your phone, and, and the time it takes to go and load all your photos and videos will depend upon how many there are. Then once it's loaded, you can go and drag through them and you can use this sidebar and like sort of scroll through them. And then what you need to do is go and tap on the photos you'd like to go and import your Mac and transfer like so. So I do these four. Then all you need to do is go and tap on import for selected or import all if you like, just like this. And then it's gonna go and put them into your import. Literally a few seconds later, it now says imported on the 15th of February. And these are the four I just imported and these are now on my Mac. So yeah, I can now drag them out of my photos, for example, onto my uh, desktop and do whatever I'd want with them. And that's it guys. If you guys found this useful, please go down below and leave a like, peace.